What's up folks, Ethan here at Hunt Ford in Franklin, Kentucky, and today we're gonna to talk about the Bronco Everglades. This is the all new trim that Ford announced this morning for the Bronco lineup. There's a few things that they did differently design-wise and functionality-wise that we're gonna get into today in this video, but first things first, check out that desert tan color. I've always been talking about how the Bronco needs a desert color, and I'm so glad to see that Ford brought it out. So you tell us down in the comments below, should Ford make that available for the rest of the Ford lineup? And if so, should we start a petition and try and get it going? So let us know down in the comments, and while you're there, if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit that notification bell so that as we post more videos in the future, you're gonna be the first one to know. So in terms of features, the Everglades is gonna kind of sit between the Black Diamond and the Badlands trim level. It's gonna have a few of those features that are from both of those, like the washable floor and the marine grade vinyl seats but it's not gonna have the higher end options like the stabilizer bar or even some of the camera options that you're gonna be able to get on the Badlands in the high and the Lux package. So this is gonna sit at about a black diamond mid package, which is still gonna be plenty, plenty of capable off-road for any of these types of adventures that you're gonna be wanting to do. So in terms of off-road ability, what is the Everglades going to bring to you? First things first, it's going to include the Sasquatch package as a standard option on this trim. So you're gonna get those 35 inch tires, the much stronger skid plates on the bottom, you're gonna get the extra goat modes, and you are going to get the Haas upgraded off-road suspension. And they're gonna include some other options like the off-road rock rails to help protect the body on the uh, lower side so that if you are to do any kind of water fording, which they have improved by three inches, we'll get into that a little bit more later, but if you are to kind of navigate underwater and hit any rocks, it's gonna protect the bottom of your vehicle. Talking about water fording, they increased it from 33 inches on a Sasquatch package to 36.4 inches. So it's a three inch difference. They did that by adding a snorkel and moving some of the vent tubes up top. This snorkel is gonna be what they call reversible, so you can change it from either pulling from the front or having it come through the back so that you can change it up based on any of the conditions that you're driving in. Admittedly, we would have liked to see that water fording mark go up a little bit more than the 36.4, but that's plenty of water fording in our eyes. We would just have liked to have seen it have a little bit bigger difference. 36.4 inches is still going to be an inch or so above the tires, which at that point you're getting into a kind of rough territory in terms of currents or anything like that. So always keep in mind what you need to know for when you do water fording. We'll do that in a separate video to cover what you need to know when you're trying to do that kind of navigation. Like the Badlands and like the Black Diamond, you are going to get the heavy duty modular bumper and they're going to include the heavy duty worn winch. This is going to be a 10,000 pound winch with a 100 foot synthetic line. That's gonna give you plenty of power to pull any objects out of the way or to pull yourself out of trouble if you ever get yourself stuck. So in terms of drivetrain, you're only gonna be able to get this with the 2.3 liter EcoBoost four cylinder, and that's gonna give you 300 horsepower at about 325 pound feet of torque. So it's still plenty powerful, but you're not gonna get that bigger V6 as an option on the Everglades. It is only available with the 10 speed automatic transmission as well, so no manual option for this vehicle either. And you do have five color options. You've got Area 50, cactus gray, black, new for the model year 22, eruption green, and the all new desert tan. So you let us know which of the colors you would pick for your Everglades model. You are going to get the hard top with the roof rack and the crossbar. So this is gonna be ready to go to go ahead and put any type of accessories along the top, as well as they did a cool thing with the fender flares. They are actually squared off on the top rather than completely round. And so what that's gonna do is that's gonna give you a little bit more of a kind of square body or aggressive look in our eyes. It's a really neat thing that's not gonna get noticed immediately, but you're gonna to kind of tell once you line it up next to a couple other Broncos. You do also have the option for the Everglades graphics, and that's gonna be on that front quarter panel. That features the topographic kind of maps of the Everglades area, and it's just kind of a nice homage back to what this vehicle was designed to do. So what's this gonna look like in terms of price? So 
Ford is telling us this is going to start at about $53,000. So that kind of creeps it up into the Badlands type price range, uh, not including that $14.95 delivery fee. So we'll call it about $54,000. However, there is a big, big caveat. This is going to be exclusive to Bronco reservation holders. So I personally have no ability to get this vehicle. I'm not going to have a reservation that I can reference to. So keep that in mind that if you have a reservation that you've used in the past, or if you have a reservation, you will probably be able to get this Bronco Everglades. And so that's going to be a very, very limited run. We're not sure if they're going to continue this past the 2022 model year. So with that said, you tell us, what do you think about the all new Bronco Everglades? We think it's a really, really great addition to the Bronco lineup. We love the look. It's got some really, really unique special wheels that are really reminiscent to some of the aftermarket options that we've got. And I really think they're kind of my favorite wheels offered on the Bronco lineup minus the black diamond steel wheels. I'm, I'm a sucker for a classic wheel. So if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of our new videos. If you think we forgot anything, let us know down in the comments below. We'll be happy to add any follow-up videos as well as answer any questions down there. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that like button. It's one of the easiest ways for you to tell us which videos you enjoyed and which ones to bring you more of in the future. That's about all I've got for you today, folks. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you later.